G'day guys, and today Sean and I are going to preview the Cats and the Hawks, round one, 2016. Basically previewing because there's no game until that happens, so we're going <laughs> to preview the game this time around. Just going to have a bit of a general discussion, a bit of a hype up of it. Very excited for it, we're both going to the game, and uh, cannot wait for it, and it'll come around before we know it. And it'll be see it all, mate. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely massive, mate. They, they could get 85 plus. Oh, here. he's made the big call. Yeah, it should be a massive crowd. If the weather is decent, I'm saying there could be 90,000. 90,000? Yep. <laughs> no yep. way. There could be. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. 90,000. Where has there been more hype there? I'm feeling the flag. They hate us. We hate them. The hype around Geelong's amazing. Right, We're breaking yeah. membership records. <laughs> the time's friendly to children. Don't have school. You know, it's not late. If you don't get along and you barrack for one of them, you're just a sad person. So there's no excuse not to go. I could see it being an enormous atmosphere. That's half the reason I'm so excited for it because MCJ atmosphere, nothing can quite beat that. Yeah, yeah. it's going to no, be exciting. But uh, as what far as actual game, yeah. Did you have a question for me? Or? What about the poor people, mate? Oh, they can't afford a membership. Or do you do you call them sad just, people? Just buy a ticket, mate. You know, I'm, okay. that's what I'm saying. If there's any game you're going to go to, it's this one. All right. I understand. I think we can buy so I'll, I'll skip the round this week and you know, just live <laughs> on the street to see the game. <laughs> it's 25 bucks, mate. It's only 25. All right. Get, get me on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as for the game, it'll be very interesting yeah. as to how that pans out because naturally everyone thinks it's going to be very close and I do think it will be close, but yeah. we can't forget that while Geelong has got a stack of recruits and we're developing nicely, our game plan has been somewhat of a struggle. In the past, with clearances in particular and ball movement from the back line at times, yeah. it's been, you know, not at its best compared to other teams. So, and we know Hawthorns obviously has been the best. So, <laughs> yeah, contrast. That'll be very interesting to see. Not only how we've come along, but you know, are the Hawks going to show any signs of dropping off? They've lost a few players, that's for sure. No roughhead for a reasonable amount of time, so that'll help us a bit. Yeah, for sure. But, uh, you know, will there be some sort of ageing? Probably not going to see too much of that round one. No. Be more of an overlook thing, but it'll be very interesting from a point of view, how we come out, how we play against the quality opposition immediately. The response, mate. Yeah, exactly right. So, I can't wait. It's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, you're taking the words out of my mouth, mate. Very, <laughs> very excited. Uh, lost by 62 in the identical game last year, so they really touched us up. And by then, we mm. saw like Hawks for the flag. We're not going to make finals. Our season's nearly over for round <laughs> one. Maybe that was me. I don't know. <laughs> you had two or three. I have to watch a review again, but uh, <laughs> mind myself. I think we. I think you said something along the lines of not uh, not too alarming, but we'll see how we go. And then sounds like me. And the Dockers towed us up <laughs> <laughs> at home. But um, yeah, no, nah, it's all good. Um, <laughs> 36 points as a deficit in the last game. Um, <laughs> we got that game with you and the F. And the yeah. chick at the train station. Yeah, no, that was yeah, an in loose. interesting moment. Um, yeah. Got a little bit overwhelmed and didn't, <laughs> didn't really know what to do. So, Bit of background on that one. Don't worry about it. Inside joke. Yeah, no, you had to be there kind of thing. You, <laughs> you actually had to be. So. Yeah. Um, no, so pretty disappointing results of late. They're really blown out as uh, we've become worse and Hawthorne have almost become better. Mm. Uh, naturally, so fingers crossed we can uh, close the gap, and we have to close the gap if we are to be considered a great team for this season. So certainly a lot of work to do, no doubt. A couple of things to uh, look at: Poppy and Bruce kick eight between them, and uh, the identical game last year. We talk about small forwards, mate. And back to your point, ground ball gets contested possession have been a weakness of ours as well, and especially against the Hawks, they so make you. Play that way. Yeah. Uh, so they, just, yeah. they know how to get the pill. They're good at it. Yeah. yeah. So we need to keep an eye on those stats. If we're high up in those stats, we're every chance. <laughs> but back to the small forwards. Poppy and Bruce, eight between them, too many, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got to keep them down. Cyril kick six against us um, the last game. And they won by 36 points. So it's Corey Enright's fault, as we discussed the other night, mate. Mm. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, we'll definitely need a Guthrie or someone more reliable. Thurlow's out, so that makes it pretty tough for the next guy. So Guthrie has to play his best game of his career <laughs> <laughs> to hopefully keep down a Bruce or a Cyril, whoever he plays on. So fingers crossed. Colo Jasny may play yeah. uh, small as well. So Colo could get either Rioli or Bruce. 
and um, those two match up there. And if they can cancel those two guys out without Roughhead, that's a huge, huge plus for us. Yeah, no, it's a great point you raised, mate, because a lot of talk is about how tall Geelong are, the land of the Giants, blah, 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 but one of our biggest weaknesses is controlling those small forwards. Yeah, it is. And, yep. uh, yeah, as you said, Thurlow out. So, you know, definitely Guthrie will be there and, and Colo, as you said. Maybe but, Buse. Um, yeah, exactly. Buse, Ruggles, is Cowan in the frame, you know. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think so, of Cowan. Uh, a couple of guys who might be forced to perhaps, you know, fight out of the division, at least in round one, but they might get an opportunity. So yeah, um, we might have a chance to get on top in the ruck as well with Zach Smith playing some good footy. It's something we haven't really had for a while, a real dominant in form and on the park ruckman. So good to have. that's somewhere we could possibly get in top on. And, uh, of course, Tom Hawkins, we just raved him up in the common medal prediction. So he's a guy that, of course, you know, would be hoping to play some really good footy this season. Yeah, for sure. Um, it has always been somewhere we can get in top in the Hawks. So, yeah, the big, uh, the big talls, and we'll have plenty of those. Yeah, so it'll be intriguing to see how it all moulds together, and it'll be intriguing which lineup we go with as well, because yeah. you wouldn't think Hawkins, Barty, Smith, Stanley, and all the defenders we have as well could fit in the same so that will be really interesting. Blitzarves, if you, I don't think you're having in that category. Yeah, he's midfielder. such a good runner. So, he's but uh, nearly out of the equation. Stanley, I don't know whether you want to delve into it too much, but I think Stanley's the real one for me. That I don't know if he has a spot at the moment. Smith has been so good in yeah, the ruck, and basically Stanley's a failed forward and defender. That's why he's at Geelong because he's failed in those positions. At, at the True, bang, so, cop that. And he found his place in the ruck. He was dominant against Port Adelaide. That's yeah. his new role. He was good on the deck. He's a ruckman. And all of a sudden, that spot's perhaps been taken. So I'll be intrigued just to see. Vardy looks like he's a second forward to Hawkins. Yeah. So, yeah, interesting. I agree with you there, mate. Uh, it's Vardy versus uh, Stanley at the moment, I suppose. I, I just don't see a spot or allowance for another tall mm. runner. He'd probably only be in this team for... Injury to a ruck or forward or defender more likely, I think. So yeah, it'll be uh yeah very interesting to see what what uh port of call they go for there. So I hope he plays because he's really good value. But, oh yeah. But, um, we'll, we'll see how it all pans out. But as you mentioned with the tall forwards, mate, does Gibbo play as a key defender for the Hawks? I think he'll play tighter. Yeah, I think they like to release him a bit as well, though. They do enjoy him. Running out of the back line is quite a good user, so... Yeah. Um, Lith- yeah. Litherland's yeah. the only other one yeah, I can I was... think of, and uh, Frawley, mm. who will probably play Hawkins. Yeah, yeah, no, I think so. So, Because Sean Makers will be playing forward, won't he? He won't want to be playing Hawkins. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a little... He's earmarked uh, as a forward at the moment, and with Ruffhead out, definitely will yeah, not yeah, accept play forward. So. so I guess that's why Hawkins is a, a real chance he's got a hold of him in the past and yep. you know on paper is a good opportunity to do it as well definitely again i should say so yeah that's all right uh final margin mate yeah i've tipped you, you, uh, i think you said it at the start maybe but yeah i've tipped the hawks by four points so if you want an official tip there but i do think it could go either way you can get wound up in the hype of the cats but you also got to then get realistic and pay respect to the i can't the, say the, the back, back to back to <laughs> but, you know, they're a champion team. They're yeah. not going to fall off a cliff anytime soon. Will no. improve. Will it be enough to beat them? It, it'd still be a really good win, as much as we've been the hype team Absolutely. of the preseason. Yeah, no, it'd be one of their finest ones. Uh, Hawks by 28 for mine. I think they're just a, yeah, a bit too, a bit more accomplished than us. They've got more runs on the board, obviously, over the last however many years, at least mm. the last three years in uh, premierships. So, yeah, I think they're a much better team than us especially in the game plan side of things, which has caught us in the past. And uh, it's been shown the game plan means more than anything at the moment. West Coast lost their back line, basically. No, they weren't going to make the eight. They make the grand final. So mm. if you're a good enough team and you've got a reasonable cattle to uh, have, you have every chance. So yeah. if our game plan can switch slightly and uh, eat the Hawks, we're, we're a chance for us to win pressure. That's, that's what's won us against the Hawks uh, in previous times and just out-wrestling them in the forward 50s. So we've generally gone along to uh, Hawkins pods back in the back in the day. So 
Mooney as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's generally how we've beaten them through fierce pressure, precise ball movement, and uh, just getting on top and forward line. It's a good recipe, mate. I hope to see it on Monday. Me too. <laughs> that, that's our preview anyway, guys. Uh, feel free to put in any thoughts in the comments to see, well, how you reckon the game will pan out. Any sort of matchups or interesting thoughts you have, put them out there. Don't forget to give the video a bit of a like and share it around. And don't forget to subscribe as well because the seas are coming out every week. Reviews are of the game anyway, not previews. But, yeah, yeah get on that. Uh, thanks for sticking around, guys. And we'll see you guys on the next video.